Hello, Celestial Beings. Welcome back to Celestial Chronicles, where we dive into the most intriguing historical mysteries and theories from around the world. Today, we're exploring a fascinating and controversial theory, the idea that Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam, was actually a Byzantine agent whose mission was to undermine and ultimately destroy the Sasanid Empire. We'll also delve into how the Quran predicted the victory of Byzantium over the Sassanids. So, buckle up and join me on this historical journey. Setting the stage, the Byzantine and Sassanid empires. Before we dive into the theory, let's set the stage with a bit of background on the two great empires of the time, the Byzantine Empire and the Sassanid Empire. The Byzantine Empire, also known as the Eastern Roman Empire, was a continuation of the Roman Empire in its eastern provinces. With its capital at Constantinople, the Byzantine Empire was known for its rich culture, advanced civilization, and powerful military. On the other hand, the Sassanid Empire, also known as the Neo-Persian Empire, was the last pre-Islamic Persian Empire, ruled by the Sasanian dynasty. Its capital was Ctesiphon, and it was known for its achievements in art, architecture, and its strong military. These two empires were often at odds with each other, engaging in numerous wars over the centuries. Their rivalry shaped much of the political and cultural landscape of the region. Muhammad's mission, a Byzantine plot? Now, let's dive into the theory. Some historians and theorists suggest that Muhammad, the founder of Islam, might have been a Byzantine agent. The idea is that the Byzantines, seeing the Sassanid Empire as a major threat, sought to destabilize it from within. The theory goes that the Byzantines, with their extensive intelligence network and diplomatic channels, might have identified Muhammad as a charismatic and influential figure who could help them achieve their goal. By promoting a new monotheistic religion, Muhammad could undermine the multi-religious fabric of the Sassanid Empire, leading to internal strife and weakening their power. The Multi-Religious Sassanid Empire To understand how this could work, it's important to understand the religious landscape of the Sassanid Empire. The Sassanids practiced Zoroastrianism as the state religion, but they were relatively tolerant of other religions. The empire was home to a diverse array of religious communities, including Christians, Jews, Buddhists, Hindus, and pagans. This religious diversity was a strength, but also a potential weakness. The Byzantine Empire, being a Christian state, saw an opportunity to exploit these religious differences. By supporting the rise of Islam, a monotheistic religion that could appeal to the disenchanted and the oppressed, the Byzantines might have hoped to create division and unrest within the Sassanid Empire. Muhammad's Early Life and Byzantine Connections Let's look at Muhammad's early life for potential Byzantine connections. Muhammad was born in Mecca, a major trading hub, which brought him into contact with people from various cultures and religions, including Christians. It's plausible that during his travels as a merchant, he could have come into contact with Byzantine agents or been influenced by Christian teachings. Some sources suggest that Muhammad had interactions with a Christian monk named Bahira during his travels. Bahira reportedly saw signs of prophethood in Muhammad and might have influenced his religious thinking. Could this have been a deliberate attempt by the Byzantines to groom Muhammad for their purposes? The Quran and the Prediction of Byzantium's Victory Now, let's examine the Quranic aspect of this theory. The Quran, the holy book of Islam, contains a fascinating prediction about the conflict between the Byzantine and Sassanid empires. In Surah Aram, the Romans, the Quran states, the Romans have been defeated in the nearest land. But they, after their defeat, will overcome. Within a few years. To Allah belongs the command before and after. And that day the believers will rejoice. Quran 30, 2, 4. This verse refers to a specific historical event, the byzantine sassanid Wars. Around 614 to 615 CE, the Sassanids had achieved significant victories against the Byzantines, capturing Jerusalem and other important territories. However, the Quran predicted that the Byzantines would soon regain their lost territories and defeat the Sassanids. The Fulfillment of the Prophecy Incredibly, this prophecy came true. In the years following the revelation of this verse, the Byzantine Emperor Heraclius launched a series of successful campaigns against the Sassanids. By 628 CE, the Byzantines had recaptured Jerusalem and dealt a crushing blow to the Sassanid Empire, leading to its eventual decline. For believers, this fulfilled prophecy is seen as a testament to the divine nature of the Quran. For theorists, it raises intriguing questions. Did Muhammad have prior knowledge of Byzantine military plans? Was he somehow informed by Byzantine agents about the impending victories? 
Islam's impact on the Sassanid Empire. Regardless of the theory, the rise of Islam undeniably had a profound impact on the Sassanid Empire. After Muhammad's death, the Rashidun Caliphate launched a series of military campaigns that quickly overran the weakened Sassanid Empire. By 651 CE, the last Sassanid Emperor was overthrown, and the empire was absorbed into the rapidly expanding Islamic Caliphate. The establishment of Islam not only brought an end to the Sassanid Empire but also reshaped the religious and cultural landscape of the region. The new Islamic state promoted a monotheistic faith that eventually became the dominant religion, displacing the various religious practices that had flourished under the Sassanids. Analyzing the theory, evidence and counterarguments. Let's critically analyze this theory. While it's intriguing, it's important to note that there's limited direct evidence to support the idea that Muhammad was a Byzantine agent. Most of the connections are circumstantial and speculative. Critics argue that Muhammad's mission was deeply rooted in the socio-political and religious context of the Arabian Peninsula, rather than a Byzantine plot. They point out that Islam's message was revolutionary and appealed to the social and economic grievances of the time, which helped it gain widespread support independently of any Byzantine influence. Additionally, the Byzantine Empire was itself struggling during Muhammad's lifetime, facing internal strife and external threats. It's unlikely they had the resources or foresight to orchestrate such a complex and far-reaching plan. The broader context, religious and political movements. To fully understand this theory, we need to consider the broader context of religious and political movements in late antiquity. The rise of new religious movements was not uncommon during this period. Various regions saw the emergence of new faiths and sects as people sought spiritual and social renewal. Islam's emergence can be seen as part of this broader trend. Muhammad's message resonated with the people of Arabia, offering a unifying religious and social framework that addressed their immediate concerns. This grassroots appeal was likely a more significant factor in Islam's success than any external manipulation. Conclusion, a theory worth exploring. In conclusion, the idea that Muhammad was a Byzantine agent is a fascinating theory that adds an intriguing layer to the complex history of the early Islamic period. While there's no definitive evidence to prove it, the connections and coincidences are certainly worth exploring. Whether or not you believe in this theory, it's undeniable that the rise of Islam and the fall of the Sassanid Empire were pivotal events that shaped the course of history. The interplay of religion, politics, and military conflict during this period is a rich field for historical investigation and speculation. Thank you for joining me on this journey through history. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more deep dives into the mysteries of our past. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on this theory, and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the stars.